Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. Sorry about that, I was having computer issues. I was having technical issues. Hello, hello, Francisco Peraza. Hello, Zari Villanueva. Hello, Ricardo Figueroa. Hello, Francisco Peraza. Hello, Roberto Santos. Hello, Mario Escobar. Zari Villanueva, Gerardo Magaña. How are you? Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action, what's going on? Hello, Ricardo. Hello, German Reyes. Hello, Hector Mende, Melendez. Hello, eh, Gerardo Magaña. Hello, Francisco. Les voy a pedir que todos enciendan sus cámaras, por favor, para conocerlos. Todos enciendan sus cámaras, por favor, para conocerlos. Cameras on, cameras on, everybody, please. Cameras on, cameras on. Hello, Zari. Hello, Mario. Hello, Sonia. Hello, Maria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you today? ¿Cómo se sienten? How do you feel? Francisco Perraza, welcome. Very good. Very good, very good. Jason Bautista, encienda la cámara. German Reyes, encienda la cámara. All right. Roberto Santos, encienda la cámara, por favor. Queremos verlo, queremos conocerlos. Guys, regla número uno de la clase, no cámaras apagadas. Quiero ver qué es lo que están haciendo, los quiero estar monitoreando. Quiero que tengamos esa interacción, ¿ok? En este momento les voy a mandar un video eh, enseñándoles cómo pueden, cómo pueden poner un fondo así como el mío, como que estoy en la playa. ¿Ven cómo se ve mi fondo? ¿Ven cómo se ve mi fondo? Sí, ok. So ahorita les voy, a pon les voy a mandar un video. Eh, para demostrarles más o menos cómo ustedes también pueden hacer lo mismo. Cómo pueden poner el fondo igual que el mío. Hay varios, hay varios fondos que pueden poner. Esto solamente es para que ustedes, si usted dice, no, no quiero encender la cámara porque no quiero que vean el desorden que tengo en, en el cuarto, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? O usted dice, no, no quiero poner la cámara porque no estoy peinado. Dice, así como yo, ¿ves? No estoy peinado. ¿Verdad? Y usted... <ríe> así que, pero pueden poner un fondo por lo menos. Aquí va el video. Se los estoy mandando al grupo del WhatsApp. Para que vean cómo ustedes también tienen varias opciones. Eh, pueden poner una playa. Pueden poner el... El San Francisco Bridge. Eh, si quieren ponerlo como Ant-Man, pueden poner ahí el Ant-Man. Eh, si quieren ser un angelito en el espacio, pueden poner este. Si quiere ver el Aurora, puede poner este. Si quieren poner la playa, puede poner este. Si quiere poner una oficina, puede poner este. O este. All right. Ya les mandé el video. Ya les mandé el video. Para que lo puedan ver. Ahora eh, quisiera que les voy a instruir. Esta parte la vamos a hacer en español, guys. Porque es muy importante que todos estemos al día. Todos, todos sabemos lo que estamos haciendo. Eh, primeramente, eh, buenas noches. Good evening. My name is Mr. Santos, eh, Ruben Santos, eh, Michael King, Mr. King. Tengo varios nombres, dependiendo lo que esté haciendo. Eh, 
Vamos a, les voy a instruir para que puedan levantar la mano. Esta es una, una, una herramienta eh, que es muy útil para esta clase. Eh, todos se van a ir donde dice, ah, veo que Sandra ya levantó la mano. Excelente, Sandra, nos puede explicar cómo fue que usted pudo levantar esa manita allí para que todos los demás sepan. Ok, buenas noches a todos. Este, en la parte de abajo hay tres puntitos a la, en la derecha. Ahí dice más. Ahí está la opción de levantar la mano. Ok, todos, todos quiero que enciendan sus cámaras y levanten sus manos. Todos enciendan sus cámaras y levanten las manos. Parte de la metodología es no cámaras apagadas. No cámaras apagadas. Los quiero ver y los quiero monitorear y quiero que sus, sus compañeros los estén viendo también. Porque, ¿cómo se sienten ustedes si yo les doy la clase así? ¿Cómo se siente? Que yo estoy aquí instruyendo la clase, pero tengo la cámara apagada. ¿Cómo se siente? Raro. Que estás hablando, Raro. Que estás hablando solo, ¿verdad? No, no me puedes ver, no puedes ver nada, solo ves un logo. No se siente bien, ¿verdad? Así que Jacqueline Coronado, cámara encendida. Cristian Espinosa, cámara encendida. Eduardo Calderón, cámara encendida. No quiero ver cámaras apagadas. No quiero ver cámaras apagadas. Todas las cámaras tienen que estar encendidas. Ok. Ok, en este momento todos quiero que levantemos la mano. Quiero ver esa manita. Eh, very good, María Burgos. Eh, very good, Brian. Very good, Janet. Ana Sanabria, no veo la mano levantada. Sonia Pérez, no, no veo la mano levantada. No, no quiero ver el dedo, quiero ver la manita azul. Uh -uh. No quiero ver el aplauso, quiero ver la manita azul, la manita que dice levantar la mano. La que me están poniendo, Gerardo, la que me puso es de aplaudir. No quiero ver esa, quiero ver la manita azul. La manita azul, así como tiene María, así como dice, la tiene Janet, así como la que tiene Mario, así como la que tiene Beatriz, así como la que tiene Christian, Carlos, Sandra. All right, todos, levanten la mano, por favor. Raise your hand, raise your hand. I don't find. You can't find it? Okay. No. Are you working on the laptop or are you working on your cell phone? Where are you working? I working in the laptop. Okay, so if you're on the laptop, you're gonna go where it says participants at the bottom participants at the bottom. Everybody raise your hand, raise your hand. Let me see you raise your hand. You're gonna go to participants and then it's going to say, uh, you're gonna see three little dots and you're gonna click on the three little dots and it's going to say raise hand o si lo tienen en español, levantar la mano. Raise your hand. All right. Me falta Hector. Raise your hand. Eduardo Calderón. Jacqueline Coronado. Quiero ver todos con la cámara encendida. No cámaras apagadas, please. Everybody turn your camera on. Camera on. Gracias, Christian. Eduardo, turn on the camera. Jacqueline, please. Para que tengamos ese elemento visual. Hector Melendez. All right, very good. Ricardo. Uh, Zari Villanueva. Raise your hand, please. Okay. Everybody raise their hands. Okay, everybody, put your hands down. Bajen la mano, bajen la mano. Lower your hands, lower your hands. All 
All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, now we're going to learn how to share the screen. Como compartir su pantalla. You're going to go down where it says share screen. You're going to see a little button that says share screen. You're going to click on share screen and you will be able to share the screen with your partners. You're going to be able to do this. Share the screen. Compartir la pantalla. Ok, uno por uno, quiero que me vayan enseñando cómo usted puede compartir su pantalla. Share the screen. Ok, uno por uno, váyanme compartiendo sus pantallas. Es un icono verde abajo que dice share screen. Share, ok, very good, Ricardo. Ricardo está compartiendo su pantalla. Excellent, Ricardo. Thank you very much. Beatriz Figueroa, good job. Cristian Espinosa, excellent. Sandra, very good. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Share screen, share screen. ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir la pantalla? Okay, Gerardo Magaña, excellent, very good. Mario Escobar, perfect. Okay, ya podemos parar de compartir las pantallas. Gracias, Robert Santos. Gracias, Robert Santos. Veo que la mayoría ya sabe cómo compartir la pantalla y cómo levantar la mano. Les vamos a dar esta parte de orientación en español para que todos estemos en la misma página. ¿Por qué es importante eh, poder levantar la mano? ¿Por qué? Porque eh, no quiero que esté así o que, o que esté así, right, en la screen, sino que si usted escucha algo que no lo entendió, si estábamos viendo el video y usted por X razón no entendió, usted puede poner ese icono pequeño que dice raise hand y usted puede, yo le voy a decir, ok, Sandra levantó la mano, quítele el silencio a su micrófono y usted me va a poder hacer la pregunta. Ese es un factor. Eh, ¿Por qué es importante que mantenga su cámara encendida? Por ejemplo, Carlos tiene la cámara apagada. Jacqueline Coronado tiene la cámara apagada. Eduardo Calderón tiene la cámara apagada. Eduardo Calderón tiene la cámara apagada. ¿Por qué no quiero que mantengan las cámaras apagadas? ¿Por qué cree usted? ¿Quién me puede decir? Porque necesitas ver ese, la atención que te, están con, eh, te estamos poniendo y porque es necesario que estemos eh, practicando el speaking. That's right, that's right. Y no solo eso, ¿cómo te sientes tú si estás hablando con una persona acá? Imagínate tú y yo estamos practicando juntos y tú tienes tu cámara encendida, yo te puedo ver a ti y tú ves un logo. ¿Cómo te sientes? Como que estoy hablando con un objeto. Que estás hablando vos solo, ¿verdad? Pero ¿cómo te sientes si yo estoy así y estoy hablando contigo? ¿Cómo te sientes? Eh, un mayor, un mayor afecto. Una Tranquilo. gran diferencia, ¿verdad? So, por eso eh, les pido que mantenga su cámara encendida durante la clase. Eh, obviamente, si usted quiere cambiar el fondo de su pantalla, así como lo hizo Roberto Santos, así como lo he hecho yo, Usted puede ponerle ese fondo. Ya les mandé un video explicándoles cómo puede hacer este efecto. ¿Verdad? Digamos que usted no quiere que vean lo que está atrás de usted. Eh, digamos que hay gente caminando o whatever. Usted puede hacer eso. All right. Now, what I would like for us to do, como es el primer día de clase, no quiero que nos metamos de un solo en la plataforma. Quiero que nos conozcamos un poquito. Eh, voy a compartir con ustedes unas preguntas. 
eh, se las voy a mandar al chat del Zoom aquí. All right. ¿Todos la, le cayó? ¿Todos la recibieron? Le tiene que aparecer un botoncito yes. amarillo. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Y también se las mandé al grupo del WhatsApp. No sé si ya revisaron el grupo del WhatsApp de esta clase. Sí. Ok. Así que están allí. Están en el, en el Zoom y también están en el grupo del WhatsApp. Levante la mano si usted no está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Levante la mano. Todos están en el grupo. Excelente. Ok, vamos a empezar. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer, please. Please, one volunteer. Somebody, levante la mano. Raise your hand. All right, Mario Escobar levantó la mano. Ok, Mario, elija tres preguntas y se las va a hacer a Mr. Santos. De las que les mandé. Elija cualquiera de tres y yo se las voy a responder. Ok, just one moment. All right, go ahead. I'll go with, uh, do you have any pets? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. I have two pets, right? Uh, I have a Rockweiler. I have two, two big Rockweilers, right? So the question is, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two rock wilders. I have a boy. Mommy? His name is Chester. And the girl is Alaska. All right, select one more question. One more question, please. The second one, do you like to cook? Do you like to cook? Yes, I do. I like to make barbecue parties. <laughs> one more question. Yeah. And the last one is, do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in a big two-story house. It's a big house. Two-story house? Two-story house. Casa what does that mean? A casa de dos plantas, two-story house. Uh, good to know. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So basically, eh, así va a ser la dinámica de esta actividad. One student is going to ask the question, and the other student is going to respond to the question. One student will ask the question, and the other student is going to respond to the question. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. No van a ser solamente, what is your name? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Are they older or younger than you? No van a estar leyendo las preguntas. Your one student is going to ask, and the other student is going to respond. Okay, and then vice versa. Questions? Questions? You got no it? Question. Okay. 
let's get started. In pairs, let's go. In pairs, let's go. Tiene que darle click al botoncito que dice ingresar a sesión pequeña. Ingresar al breakout room, sesión pequeña. What's going on, Mario? Levantó la mano, Mario? Yeah, I was just... Yeah, I did. I, I was just wondering, what are we going to do now here? Uh, you are going to ask and answer the questions. Ask and answer the questions. Uh, I think Jacqueline Coronado... Uh, Hello, Jacqueline Coronado. Hello. Eh, Jacqueline, ¿no es permitido mantener la cámara apagada en la clase? ¿Es parte de la metodología del programa de no mantener las cámaras apagadas? ¿Me puede ayudar con eso? Okay. Uh. Oh, okay, guys. Eh, eh, cancelé las sesiones privadas. Cancelé las sesiones privadas. Ya, ahorita sé. Que no saben lo que vamos a hacer en los breakout rooms. ¿Alguien me puede explicar a mí qué es lo que vamos a hacer en el breakout room? ¿Alguien me puede explicar qué van a hacer en el breakout room? Azucena Ochoa. Hola, hola. Hola, Azucena Ochoa. ¿No es permitido mantener las cámaras apagadas en la clase? Bueno, ahorita la activo. Douglas Herrera, Héctor Meléndez, no puede tener las cámaras apagadas durante la clase. Dígame, Ricardo Figueroa. Dígame, Ricardo Figueroa. Uh, bueno, por lo que logré entender este, en la clase privada es, este, bueno, lo que estábamos haciendo con... Uh, ¿qué ¿Dónde está...? Aquí está, ya que no, ¿Quién? Con, no, ya ni me acuerdo con quién me tocó, pero lo que estábamos haciendo es, es ah, Beatriz, con Beatriz Figueroa, estábamos eh, interactuando, el primero, la primera sesión de preguntas eh, que yo, ella me hizo, yo las contesté. Y ¿Cuál es, cuál, este, ¿Cuáles preguntas? ¿De dónde va a sacar esas preguntas? Ah, están acá en el chat. ¿Y quién le mandó esas preguntas? ¿Quién se las mandó? Son las que, son las que usted nos compartió. Ah, ok. So, ustedes van a practicar con las preguntas que yo les mandé al grupo del WhatsApp y al chat del Zoom. O sea que las tiene que tener en las dos. 
Las tiene que tener en el chat del Zoom. Si no las tiene, en este momento se las voy a compartir. El objetivo de, este, de esta conversación es para que se conozcan. Uh -huh. Yo sé que son nuevos. Eh, me imagino que es primera vez que están trabajando uh -huh. juntos. Así que por eso les pido que trabajemos así con estas preguntas. Básicamente son preguntas de cosas normales. Cosas para que ustedes se sientan más cómodos con ustedes mismos, básicamente. Mario Escobar, ¿me puede okay. decir qué es lo que van a hacer en el, en el chat privado? ¿Qué van a hacer? Mario Escobar, ¿me puede explicar, por favor? Vamos a tomar preguntas del listado que tenemos y vamos a hacernos preguntas entre nosotros mismos. ¿Cuál, cuál es poder ¿Cuáles preguntas son? Las preguntas que usted acaba de compartir ahí en el chat. Ok. ¿Y cuántas va a preguntar? ¿Tres? No, todas. Yo le dije tres para oh. hacerles el ejemplo, pero ustedes las van a hacer todas. Ok. Este es un tema ah, okay. que ustedes ya lo vieron. Okay. El do you. Esto lo vimos en el básico. Do you. El, how, el WH questions. Así que todo esto ya lo vimos. No es información nueva. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas okay. al, antes que nos vayamos a los breakout rooms? ¿Alguien tiene preguntas sobre el vocabulario? ¿Preguntas sobre la, la pronunciación o algo por el estilo? Héctor Meléndez, no cámaras apagadas en la clase, por favor. Héctor Meléndez, no cámaras apagadas durante la sesión de clase, por favor. Sesión de clase. Ok, nos fuimos. Una okay. vez, una vez más. Ready? Okay. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Let's go. Ana Sabrina no se ha ido, Joaquín Galacia no se ha ido. Hector Meléndez no se ha ido. Hector Meléndez no se ha ido. Hector, ¿me escuchas? Hector, Hector, Hector. Eh, Ana Sanabria, ¿qué le pasó? ¿Por qué se salió? Usted estaba trabajando con Alain Calderón, ¿qué le pasó? Hector Meléndez. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Aldaín quedó solo. Ya lo voy a... Yes. Ok, I'm going to put you with okay. uh, Cristian y Gerardo on number two. Ok, I'm waiting for. Let's go, ya les mandé la solicitud. Ok. Ahí está, Cristian con Espinosa.
Ah, his name is Kira. Yes. Oh, good. And you? Do you have any pets? Uh, uh, yes, I do. I have a dog. He's good, Gucci. <laughs> it's a little dog. Oh, yes. It's a little dog, a French, French dog. And what is her name? It's, it's his name. Oh, Gucci. his name. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Do you like to cook? Uh, yes, I do, but I can't, you know. <laughs> yeah. o or only the basic. And you? Do you like cook? Mm, yes, I like, but I'm so bad to cook. Okay. Do you, do you live here in Medapan City? Yes, I live in Medapan City. Okay, I never, I, I never know you in Metapan. I never, uh, never see you. You was my teacher in Fe, Federal. Oh, see? Yes. What year? Mm, around seven around, years ago. Oh, around seven years ago? Yes. Class of, I don't know. Uh, computer. Ah, uh, yeah, com computer classes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, I can't remember you. Mm, I'm, I'm the son of Senor Betty. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I remember <laughs> that. Yeah. Yes. I remember that. I, I am very glad to talk to you. Yes. Because he's was time 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 ago we never talk yes and how, and how about you um, right now i am studying in the university for a lawyer oh yes. what is study uh, a lawyer oh lawyer yes five years and you are a lawyer yes five years five years okay Good. I just see the chat to to see another question. Okay. Let me a second. Okay. Hello, Christian. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Uh, fine. Do you have any pet, Christian? Yes, I, I have two dogs. Two and dogs? You? See, and you? I only have a one, one dog, only one. Mm. What do you name the, 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 the dog? The name of my dog? Uh-uh, yes? Uh, his, his name is Gucci. <laughs> it's a little pet. Uh, I have two huskies. Oh, it's a uh, big dog. Her, see, her name is... And beautiful is, eyes. Yes. Yeah. Her, her name is, is Lassie and Terry. Lassie? Mm -hmm. uh, and Terry. They are exposed. <laughs> yes. yes. Este. Let me a second. I I just uh, find another question for you, okay? Uh, Christian, do okay. you like uh, baseball? Hello? Do you like baseball? Baseball? No, I don't like baseball. I like to football. Yeah, I like football too. Mm -hmm. What's your keep forward? Uh, my favorite team uh, is uh, huh? Meraban and Football Club Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> 
he's his favorite team. He's my favorite team too. Really? Yeah. Barcelona yeah. too. He's the best team soccer ever in the life. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the other guy is Real Madrid because she he doesn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like the ice work, and I, I mean it's Real Madrid. <laughs> yes. Obviously. You like Real Madrid, Christian? Yes, I like Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you. Like we have a problem here, man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, do you live in house or an apartment? <laughs> yes. Learning news. Learning and remember things. Ah, remember things. <laughs> okay, that's good. I have to remember things too. Yeah. Yeah, more things, much <laughs> things. Yes. Because we need vocabulary. Yes. More That's vocabulary. Right. Do you have pets in your house? Yes, I have. I have two cats. Only two cats? Only two cats. Do you like dogs? Nah. Yes, I like, but I'm not... Mm, how I say? You I like to have, but I don't know. Buy one. What? Not interested in buy one. No, really, I'm. I'm not really. Not really. Yeah, that's okay. That's, that's because okay. <laughs> there are they are fighting there. Yes, with the cats. And not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's cats. right. And that's that's right. Good. Uh, ¿Puedes ver mi pantalla? Uh, sí, la puedo ver. Oh, Jacqueline Coronado is another. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. is another student. <laughs> ah, it's a three, three people. Perdón. Okay, let me see. I'm looking for the question. Because okay. Maria Burgos don't see that. Oh, let me see. Okay, aquí está. Uh, that's it. I don't know. La pregunta no buscan. Yes. Eh, ¿Dónde está esta cosa? El chat, aquí está. Ok. ¿Las puedes ver, María? ¿Las la puedes ver, María? Hola, hola. ¿Tú sí la ves, Jacqueline? Hola, hola. I, I don't know if I, if, if here I, I know the love of my life. In the... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm just kidding. It's just okay. joking. You? Okay. Mary I'm married. Single. I'm married. Not at the moment. Have you ever met a... ¿Cómo se pronuncia famoso? Famous. ¿Cómo? Famous. Famous person? And no, I didn't know a famous person in my life. 
Okay. How long have you been st studying English? I've been studying English about five years. Yo creo que si usted no está viendo la pregunta, no me entiende. <risa> Lo que puede hacer, fíjese, es, es en YouTube buscar pronunciaciones. Es que ¿Me va a tocar de todas maneras? Um, how old are you? I, I, I am 17, uh, 27 years old. Eh, 77 o 17? Seventy seven is seventy seven. Ah, twenty seven. Twenty seven. I, I make I made a little mistake. I I want to say seventeen. Eh, twenty seven, sorry. Ah, uh, twenty seven. <laughs> the Yo escuché seventy seven. I'm like, se ve bien joven y ya tiene setenta y siete. Ni yo que tengo canas aquí. <laughs> no, ¿Cuál es canas? <laughs> no, I, I make a little mistake, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Practice with Gerardo Magaña. Hi, Gerardo. Hi, teacher. Practice, practice. No se quede callado. Practice. Supongo que. What's up? That's right. Good evening. Good evening, back in action. Roberto Santos, no es permitido mantener la cámara apagado, Roberto Santos. Come on, Roberto, follow the rules. <laughs> All right, practice, practice. ¿Están practicando o necesitan algo? Yeah, no. Ya, ya, ya hicimos las preguntas. Oh, you finish, you finish. Yeah. We finished. Okay. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Roberto Santos and Gerardo Magaña. Roberto Santos asked the question and Gerardo Magaña, please respond. Okay. Gerardo, do you have any pet? Uh, yes, I do. I have a cat and his name is Kira. Ah, okay. Uh, mm. What was the last story? Uh, can you repeat, please? What was the last book you read? Uh, uh, the last book I read was The Criminal Lawyer. Okay. Do you like to cook? Uh, yes, I like, but I don't so good uh, good cooking. What's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is uh, uh, spaghetti or lasagna. Are you good at cooking cinnamon pepper? Uh, sorry? Are you good at cooking cinnamon pepper? Are you good at cooking? Are you good at cooking? Eres bueno para cocinar. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, I, I didn't go to, to cook. I am not good at cooking. I am. I am not okay. good at cooking. Are you married or single? Uh, I'm single right now. Do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yes, I have uh, one sister and one brother. Okay. Are they older or younger than you? Uh, my sister is older than me and the brother is younger than me. Excellent.
Owls for the participants, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now Gerardo asks the questions and Roberto Santos responds to the questions. Okay, uh, Roberto, how old are you? Uh, I am 29 years old. Uh, do you like baseball? Yes, I do. Uh, do you like any other sports? And what is your favorite? Yes, yes, uh, yes, I do. My, my favorite uh, sport is uh, football or soccer. Okay, very good. Uh, do you live in house or in an apartment? Uh, I live in your house. Okay. How did you ever meet a famous person? How did you ever meet a famous person? Yes, I met with a player. Okay. okay. Uh, how long have you been studying English? Uh, I was studying English a uh, long time ago. Are you good at cooking? Yes, I do. I like to cook. Yes, I do, or yes, I am. Um, repeat that question, please. Are you yes. good at cooking? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. We're going to stop right here, guys. Applause for Roberto and Gerardo, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Okay, guys, now what I would like for us to do is uh, go over the uh, platform and the activities that you are going to be executing on the platform. Now, for this program, it's very important that you understand that we are going to be evaluating your progress on the platform. Okay, todos tienen acceso al platform? Yeah. Yeah. Sí. Yes, everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do have access. Yes. Okay, so it's very important, guys, that you all understand that right now, what we're going to be looking at is the usage of the platform. So I want us to go to the first section on the platform, which is going to be coming from over here. 10, 1.0 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss the background in greater detail and get to know people. Past tense, please listen and pay attention. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're gonna try to use both 
ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't. okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the 
second question that you see there, with the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you and the verb in its present form take the complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, guys, now for this activity, what you are going to do is you're going to come over here and we are going to look at the knowledge check and I want you to complete, choose the correct answer. That's going to be your homework for tomorrow. All right, guys, good night and we see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.